Jack Nicklaus and family had designed over 350 golf courses in more than 30 countries, but only one course in the Philadelphia region. So which local course has the Nicklaus stamp on it? Find out next on Winning Golf. Winning golf. Look at this putt, guys. What we play. Nice shot. Working on my short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Winning golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to another thrilling week of winning golf where everybody wins and today I am very excited to welcome back a group from 4 Telcom Health. A little later in the show, this talented team led by Chad Parnas will test their short game skills in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge and hopefully take home some amazing prizes like this Cleveland 588 RTX wedge, the number one wedge in golf. And of course our champion will pitch from 90 feet for the keys to a brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Boy, we'd love to give that away. And for my instruction, I'm going to discuss what I believe is the most challenging and unique shot in the game. That should be fun. But first, before we get to all that excitement, let's take a tour around today's host facility and the only Nicholas design course in the area, the beautiful Apple Cross Country Club. Apple Cross Country Club is the newest country club in beautiful Chester County and provides its members and guests an amazing experience. Besides the gorgeous golf course, there are countless opportunities for recreational and social pursuits, including an indoor pool, an Olympic-sized outdoor pool, a kid's splash zone, tennis courts, six miles of walking trails, indoor and patio dining, and to top it off, a state-of-the-art all-season sports pavilion featuring a 10,000 square foot cardio and weight training center. In addition, and brand new for 2012, a beautiful year-round golf instructional facility and a spectacular 19th hole short game practice area. Applecross is truly a first-class facility. Applecross is a great place for families. Uh, it's a big focus for us to offer not only a golfing atmosphere, but a great place for parents and kids and really the whole world to kind of come and hang out and be with each other. So in addition to the golf course, we added a 19th hole, which is a short game practice facility that we use a lot for camps and junior clinics, uh, indoor outdoor pools. You can see the new outdoor pool bar behind us that we're continuing to construct right now. So along with the golf course growing and getting better every day, we're trying to continue to grow the facilities along with you know, making sure the amenities fit the level of, of member that we're trying to, to grow and, and bring in. The golf course, which opened in July 2010, is always in mint condition and certainly is a true test of golf. Lead designer Michael Nicholas, the youngest son of Jack, enhanced the great architectural heritage of the Nicholas name with this gem. The layout is unlike any other in the area, offering classic Nicholas challenges. New in 2013, now the golf course has really continued to mature. Opened in 2010, Nicholas design. It's a great layout, uh, tests a lot of different levels from your, your intermediates and beginners all the way up to your advanced players. You know, they're looking for a really hard, fun challenge. Green speeds are up, grasses are green, fairways are rolling nice. So really the golf operation as a whole has really taken a lot of nice steps and, and growth in the last few years. The golf course blends into a landscape that reveals breathtaking views of sparkling lakes and rolling countryside. Wetlands and water features grace the surroundings on 14 of the 18 holes. The golf course features four sets of tees, plays to a par 72, and can be played anywhere from 5,200 to 7,000 yards. The Nicholas arrival at Apple Cross also kicked off an inviting multi-club membership program, offering championship golf by Nicholas, Palmer, Player, and Jones. A membership at Apple Cross Country Club provides you with full privileges to Tallamore Country Club in Ambler, as well as Old York Country Club in New Jersey. In addition, Apple Cross members have access to the 36-hole Tallamore Golf Resort, as well as the Mid-South Club, both located in beautiful Pinehurst, North Carolina. Members in the Tallamore Family Network have 100% reciprocity with each club based on their category of membership selected. One thing is for sure, world-class golf and club facilities grace each of the properties that are part of the Tallamore family of clubs. 
Membership options include social, casual, and full golf, as well as junior, intermediate, super senior, and club two memberships. If you would like to learn more about this unique multi-club membership and possibly join the Talamore family, please call 484-692-1010 or check out the web at applecrosscc.com. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I'd like to discuss one of the most challenging bunker shots of them all, the downhill lie. A good setup and good swing thoughts will help me get this ball into the green. Let's start with this setup. Number one, I play the ball back in my stance. Number two, I choke down on the golf club. Number three, I open my face slightly, not as much as a normal bunker shot, just slightly open the face. Then the most important, I set my shoulders and my hips to match the slope of the sand. So since the sand is higher here, I'm gonna put a lot of weight into my front leg, my front foot. That will allow me to get to my swing. Here, I wanna feel like I'm picking the club up quicker than normal, so I'm gonna hinge my wrist a little earlier than normal. I don't wanna hit the sand on the way back. So I lift it up, and then I wanna chase the ball or chase the sand down through that golf ball. I almost feel like I'm gonna chase the ball right to the target. I wanna keep my head still during this whole process. Let's see what happens. Ball in the back, choking down, slightly open the face. Weight forward, and I'm gonna lift that club up and chase the golf ball. Well, I think we'll take that shot today. Now remember, from this slide, the ball will come out low with very little backspin. So plan accordingly when you're setting up for your shot. I'll see you next week on the tee. And now it's time for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Cleveland Golf. Cleveland Golf, how the game should feel. Now let's meet our competitors. Sam Baker, Greg Persh, Rick Yore, Steve Jones, Chad Parnas, Carl Flaherty, Scott Krapinski, John Donaldson, Rich Quinney, Dan Ketchen, Chris Soban, Rob Gunther, Craig Constable. Well, Chad Parnas, thank you for serving as our host today here at Apple Cross Country Club. And Chad, it looks like your guys are pumped up for a great day with winning golf. And Doug, thank you very much. It's a wonderful group of people, great course, and we're really excited to get out there and play winning golf. Well, thank you, Chad. I'm excited too. In fact, guys, we're gonna start with a fun putting contest. How's that sound? Yeah. That sounds great, yeah. awesome. All right, Sam Baker, you've been volunteered for this putting contest, so here's the deal. I'm going to give you one putt from 25 feet. Now, there are three rings around that cup, a six-foot ring, a three-foot ring, and a one-foot ring. Three different prizes. If you get inside the six-foot ring, I'm going to give you two dozen tricks on golf balls. If you get inside the three-foot ring, you're going to dinner at PJ Willihan's. And if you get inside that one-foot circle, Sam, how about two rounds of golf, green fees and cart fees right here at Apple Cross Country Club. Sound great? Wow, that sounds yeah. great, Doug. Yeah. But what happens if I roll it in? Sam, if you're rolled in, I'm gonna give you all three. Does that oh, sound better? Nice. <laughs> all right, let's go make a putt. Well, Sam Baker is ready to go. He has a 25 foot putt on the challenging 18th green. And the question here is not will he get it into the circle. The question is will it stay in the circle? This looks like a nice touch. Inside the six, inside the, oh, it's inside the six. Two dozen golf balls for Sam Baker. Great putt. Well, Sam Baker, well done. Two dozen tricks on golf balls. Great putt by you. Uh, thanks for the great read on that, Doug. Awesome. You're welcome. Well, we've already given away some golf balls. and we come back, we're going to try to give away some cash. Maybe even $5,000. That's right, $5,000. You won't want to miss that. Nobody ever called me the next big thing. My whole career I've been sort of overlooked, flying under the radar. Kind of like Cleveland with irons. They don't have some crazy name or gimmick. They just show up when it matters, like me. Introducing Cleveland 588 irons, 
multiple flight, feel, and forgiveness profiles for the ultimate fit. I guess you can't stay under the radar forever. Golf isn't just what we do, it's all we are. You can feel it in our gloves and when you walk in our shoes. We know how to be light, comfortable, flexible, and how to make every day playable. And when you're a player, you wear the mark. FJ, the mark of a player. Prizes and tee gifts for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge provided by Srixon Golf Balls. Play a better ball, Srixon. See more putters, hide the red dot, see more. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, golf and specialty umbrellas made from the finest quality materials. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, are you ready to putt for some cash? Yeah! All right, here's the deal. Our host, Chad Parnas, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then spin the wheel to see how much cash he's putting for. Now, guys, all you have to do to win the cash is make a 30-foot putt. You've all done that before, right? Absolutely. All right, Chad Parnas. Could you pull one name out of the hat for sure, us, please? Sure, Doug. Who is our lucky contestant? The lucky contestant is... Rich Quinney. Rich yeah. Quinney. Come on down, Rich. Well done. All right, Rich. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Rich. Let's give that a nice spin. This could be anything right, 5, from. 5,000 here. There we go. There we go. Oh. That's a nice touch already, Rich. One, two, three, four, five thousand dollars It's a lot of cash. He's got $1,000. All, right. All, right. All right. Good luck. Rich Quinney is ready to putt from 30 feet for $1,000. I certainly want to mention this exciting putting contest is sponsored by our friends from the U.S. Hull and in One Insurance. It should go a little bit left to right. It's coming down the left side. It's coming towards the hole. This one's got a chance. It's perfect distance, perfect speed. Wow, what a great effort by Rich Quinney. Well, Rich Quinney, great putt. You got it to the hole. Missed it just by a couple inches. Yeah, thank you, Doug. It was great fun uh, spinning the wheel and uh, taking an effort at that putt. So thank you. You got it. Well, we didn't give away the cash, but the great news is we still have a ton of prizes to give away in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge takes place on the pristine, fast, and undulating 18th green at Apple Cross Country Club. Our competitors will showcase their short game skills with some very tricky and challenging shots in four preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. And we made things tough right from the start with this 70-foot chip shot. John Donaldson, first up, handles it well. John Donaldson with a pitching wedge planted high on the left side, but it's going to come down hard. And boy, look at that beautiful touch by John Donaldson. Rick Yor shows some skill. Rick Yor with a sand wedge. Boy, this has the line. Does it have the speed? It should come down towards the hole a little bit. Here it comes. And boy, what a touch by Rick Yor. Well done. Chris Soban chips his ball to six and a half feet. Up on the left side. Boy, this looks really good. Coming down towards the hole in this beautiful 18th green at Apple Cross. And that is a beautiful golf shot. Check out Rob Gunther. He has a sweet touch with this shot to six inches. Beautiful touch, beautiful line. This is going down towards the hole. Look at that effort. Now that is winning golf. Wow. But host Chad Parnas steals the spotlight and the round with this gem to three inches. Great club selection. Look how close this is to the hole. It could go in. Oh my goodness. Round two features a 25 yard pitch shot from the thick rough. Craig Constable starts us off. Craig Constable with a beautiful stroke. We'll get to the crest and here it comes. That's a nice touch. Nice job. Good job, Craig. Carl Flaherty stepping up his game. Boy, if it gets up over to the hole, it's got the line. And here it comes. Soft hands by Carl Flaherty. Boy, that was close. Rich Quinney ups the ante with this pitch to under six feet. Right on the high side, it's a soft touch, so that should come down towards the hole, and here it comes. Boy, that's a nice play by Rich Quinney. Rick Yore continues his hot hand. Boy, he's got the line. Is it the right speed? This should come right at the hole, and that's a beautiful touch 
and a beautiful pitch shot by Rick Yore. But check out this winning golf shot by Sam Baker. At two and a half feet, he takes the round. This has a chance to go in. Look at this effort by Sam Baker. Round three is an uphill short pitch from 15 yards out of the heavy rough. Greg Purse starting things off. Greg Yore, oh, he's got the line. Just got caught in the hill a little bit. Good job, Greg. Rob Gunther leaves himself under five feet away. Is it enough? Oh, just below the hole. Well done, Rob. It was right on line. Steve Jones coaxing his ball to under three feet from the cup. And boy, look at that shot by Steve Jones. Well done. But this shot by Sam Baker takes the round. 58 degree Cleveland wedge. And look at that shot by Sam Baker. Round four is a 50 foot putting contest. Carl Flaherty strokes it well. With a nice setup and a nice stroke. And just below the hole, well done, Carl Flaherty. Rob Gunther rolls his ball to two and a half feet. Gone through with a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke. This has the line. Does it have the speed? Inching up towards the hole and look at that putt. Chad Parnas guiding his ball to one foot nine inches. Going with a Seymour putter with a beautiful roll off the face of that putter. This has a great line. That's the Seymour putter working. But Scott Krapinski steals the round as his putt is an inch better. He's got the line. He's got the speed. Look at this touch right below the cup. What an effort by Scott Krapinski. Who will rise up and advance in our survivor round? We'll find out right after Doug takes our players to short game school. Gentlemen, for today's lesson, I would like to discuss one of the most unique and challenging shots in the game. It's called the lob shot. Now, it's challenging because in many cases, you have to hit your ball up over a bunker to a tight pin. It's unique because I'm going to ask you to make a full swing, yet your ball only has a short distance to travel. Make sense, guys? Yeah. All right, so if I have a good setup and good swing thoughts, I think we can pull this shot off. So let me start with the setup. Number one is my ball position. I want to play the ball a little bit forward of middle in my stance. Number two is my club face. I want it high and soft, so I'm going to open my club face slightly. I'm also going to open my stance, all right? And number four is my setup and my posture. I'm going to make sure my weight is 50-50, so I'm not leaning back. And I'm not leaning forward. I also want my arms and hands straight down from my shoulders. A lot of shots around the green, we're forward pressing our hands. For this shot, we want them comfortably right below our shoulders, okay? Now my swing thoughts. I have three things that I visualize for this shot. Number one, I visualize a full swing. It's unusual to take a full swing from this short of a shot, so I have to visualize that. Number two, I visualize a path that's going across the golf ball. Now I accomplish that by swinging parallel to my feet. Remember, my feet are open, so if I swing parallel to my feet, I'll be going across the target line. That's my goal. And the third thing I visualize is this club face staying open all the way through the shot. I don't want to rotate my arms like a regular shot and close that face. I want to keep the face open right through the shot. Any questions, you guys? No. Well, if not, I'd like to bring up John Donaldson. John, come on up here. John, let's get you into the perfect setup. That starts with ball position. We want to make sure it's a little bit front and middle. That looks great. I'd like you to open your club face a little bit for me. Excellent. And now let's open our stance so we're aiming across our target line. Beautifully. Okay. I'd like to have your weight centered, about 50-50 on both feet, and your arms and hands hanging straight down. That looks terrific. Okay. Now I'm going to step away, John, but I want you to think about a full swing. I want you to think about an open club face, and I want to think about a path going right across the target line. Okay? Very good. All right, John, I'm going to step back here with this wonderful group from Four Telecom Help. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this shot, guys. Look how high and soft that is. Boy, that's a terrific shot, John. Good setups and good swing thoughts really help. Well done. Very good. Thank you. Doug, you just took the scary shot in golf for me and turned it into something I'm going to try next round. Thank you again for you're, the tip. You're quite welcome. It's do or die time for our players. The top two finishers in this Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge Survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. And this week, we're challenging them with a 40-yard pitch from the fairway. Rich Quinney has a good effort. Rich Quinney, playing on the high side. Boy, this should come down towards the hole nicely, and here it comes. Right down towards the hole. What a beautiful shot by Rich Quinney. Good job. Chris Soban makes a run at the final. 
They're so bond. You like them to chip and run this with an eight iron. If it gets to the crest, it will come down. It is a beautiful touch. It's got a chance to get very close. Come on. And look at that effort by Chris Soban. Well done. But two players were better. Dan Ketchin hits this golf shot to six feet. Dan Ketchin with a beautiful stroke here with a seven iron. Nice and soft. What a great touch. It's got a chance. And look at that touch by Dan Ketchin. Scott Kropinski plays some winning golf with this pitch to five feet, seven inches. Beautiful line. This is a chance to nestle very close to the hole, right below the cup. And how about that effort by Scott Kropinski? So it's Kropinski and Ketchin in our final. Which one will pitch for an infinity? We'll find out when winning golf brought to you by SAP continues. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit PJ'sPub.com. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities, too. Test drive the all-new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e-commerce solutions. Legendary headwear, wear what the pros wear, legendary. And by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at P.J.'s. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. Whether it's cool, rainy, or windy, make every day playable with FootJoy. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. We're on the 18th green here at beautiful Apple Cross Country Club, and our finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a slot in the winning golf championship, and the opportunity to pitch for a brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Now, the rules for the playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the SAP playoff will be a challenging downhill chip shot out of the rough. Dan Ketchum will have the honors. And here it comes down the hill. It's a nice touch. He's about 15 feet below the hole, which will give him an uphill putt. And now it's Scott Krupinski's turn to try and battle this challenge in 18th green. Got a nice setup. Let's see if he can hit it soft enough. He'll have to hit it soft with a 9 iron. And here it comes. It's past the hole, and it's still going. And just onto the fringe of the green, at least he's got an uphill chip. And here's his chip shot. This will go about six feet past the hole. He'll have a downhill putt from there. Now Dan Ketchin is putting for two and the winning golf championship right here. And there's the break and the ball is about a foot below the hole. Well, Scott Krupinski is six feet above the hole. He will need to roll this in. Takes it back, pulls it just a little bit. He went for it and now he's below the hole. That leaves Dan in great shape. He needs this two foot putt to become the winning golf champion at Apple Cross Country Club. It's in the heart of the hole, and Dan Ketchin is our winning golf champion at Apple Gross Country Club. Well, Dan Ketchin, congratulations. You made some pressure shots today, especially at the end. To get up and down in three from that lie is excellent. I hope you had a great day with winning golf. I had an absolutely wonderful time at winning golf. I'm very appreciative to Ford Telecom Health for inviting me out. And it's a beautiful course, and it's a great day, and I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing. Well, thank you, Dan. And you know, we've given away a lot of great prizes this year already, but we've never given away a car. So I want to ask you directly, how's your pitching game from 90 feet? Well, if I can keep my eyes open, I should be all right. <laughs> well, we'd love to give away this new Infinity, so whatever you do, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf.
Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. What do 16% larger grooves feel like? What does a rotational face pattern feel like? How about dimensionally optimized laser milling? It feels like the most advanced spin technology ever engineered into a single club face. The new 588 Rotex Wedge from Cleveland Golf feels like the best wedge we've ever built. Because that's exactly what it is. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities too. Test drive the all-new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. With winning golf, everybody wins. It's time now on winning golf for the Infinity Champions Pitch. Infinity inspired performance. Welcome back to winning golf for our final event, the Champions Pitch. Each week, our champion will attempt to hole out from 90 feet to win an amazing Infinity G37 convertible. Winning Golf is thrilled to have two first-class dealerships, Infinity of Armour and Infinity of Westchester, sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We are on the putting green at Apple Cross Country Club. Our champion, Dan Ketchin, is 90 feet away. If he can knock it in the hole, he will drive home in one of the nicest cars on the road today an Infinity G37 convertible, and here it comes. It's got a pretty good line, pretty good speed. Boy, look at this effort by Dan Ketchin. One of the best efforts of the season. What a great champion, Dan Ketchin. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show from the very special Apple Cross Country Club. This facility is so special, they have a 19th hole inside the clubhouse and also outside the clubhouse. Hey, I'd also like to thank my good friend and host Chad Parnas from 4 Telecom Help. He always brings out a fun and classy group of guys. Well, for me, it's time to go work on that lob shot. That should be lots of fun. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Everybody wins.